Hi YouTube, this is VidHead85. I am coming at you with some news out of Arkansas, Indiana, Texas, as well as Gover as well as um, the Obamacare Medicaid expansion. So Arkansas and Indiana have something in common regarding abortion legislation as a law in each state was challenged. Um, Texas is um, now I'm going to move down to Texas where Rick Perry has vetoed a Buy American by Texas legislation. Um, and Jan Brewer, Republican Governors Jan Brewer, um, Kasich, and Rick Scott are a handful of Republican King Governors um, trying to take a deal with the federal government for Medicaid expansion, but they're having a little bit of difficulty. Let me get to the exceptions with here with Governor Jan Brewer. Now, personally, I think she's evil incarnate, but when it comes to tying up all legislation until the budget is passed with Medicaid expansion, I have to say I am on her side with this. Um, she will not sign a bill until that is done, and it will protect and help uh, ensure the poorest citizens with funds from the federal government, which will provide most of the money, uh, and the state will kick in what is comparatively minuscule to that. Um, I read that the, somewhere the odds will be 27 to 1. Other Republican governors arguing with their legislatures are Rick Scott of Florida, who has no real presence supporting uh, behind his support, though Democrats are urging the legislature to adopt a compromise that will ensure the poorest Floridians. Governor Kasich of Ohio has tossed his support behind a revival of an expansion proposal. Meanwhile, in Iowa, Governor Terry Branstad seems to have dropped his opposition to the measure while the legislature has passed a compromise measure. Maine, however, has passed a Medicaid expansion bill, but unlike Repub um, Ohio's Republican governor, uh, the veto is in place. Pennsylvania, according to the Philadelphia Weekly Post blog, titled, Are Pennsylvania Republicans Getting Ready for Medicaid Expansion, shows that they very well may be right for it. Now, the following map here will show you where some states are leaning toward Medicaid expansion. Some are also leaning toward finding a solution that will ensure the poorest of the state. Now, um, a couple, you may find a couple of surprises. Now let me talk about a little bit about Arkansas. Arkansas, a federal judge, has blocked a temporary block of the law, temporarily blocked the law in Arkansas banning abortions after 12 weeks of pregnancy, the first legal test of a state early abortion ban law that was passed in 2013. North Dakota currently has one after six weeks. Judge Susan Weber Wright of the U.S. District Court of the Eastern District of Arkansas has granted a preliminary injunction against the law, a ruling from the bench after a hearing challenged brought on by abortion rights and advocates. There will be a hearing on the law shortly, but none of my sources have set have shown me a date for the hearing. Texas legislature, or excuse me, in Indiana, the Seventh Circuit Court has ruled that the state can't defund the uh, organization Planned Parenthood um, and that it went too far. It was aimed to deny funds from the joint federal state Medicaid health program for the poor that are used in general health services, including cancer screenings, and the Supreme Court has refused to hear the case, which will leave the Seventh Circuit ruling in place. Now let's move to Texas legislature where Rick Perry has, pa has vetoed a unanimously passed bill. Listen, unanimously passed. That rarely, I rarely ever hear about that in Texas, of all places. But it's called the Buy American Buy Texas Law, which will tell all government agencies that they must buy from the states. Rick Perry has vetoed the bill. Why this man says he loves this country but won't allow this bill is beyond me. Now I'm going to insert MAME, especially of, let's see, Jackie Chan confused. And of course, I have to put this in here. Business is booming in Texas. And I'm pretty sure that my Texas friends, my fellow Texas Democrats, will appreciate this meme, this meme right here. Thank you very much for watching and have yourselves a wonderful night.